smoke rises from buildings in a rebel-held neighborhood of Dara in southern Syria following reported shelling credit. AFP Russia and Israel have reportedly reached an unprecedented deal which would allow Bashar al-Assad's forces to take remaining rebel territory in southern Syria, so long as Iranian fighters do not participate. Moscow appears to have capitulated to Israeli demands to hold back Tehran-backed militias 15 miles from the occupied Golan Heights, according to Israeli and Saudi reports. In return, Israel will not stand in the way of any Syrian regime offensive on the city of Dira and territory along the Israeli and Jordanian border. Russia said on Monday only Syrian army troops should be on the country's southern frontiers, which appeared to be directed at Iran. The deal is said to have been finalized in a phone call days earlier between Avigdor Lieberman, the Israeli defense minister, and Sergei Shoig, his Russian counterpart. Children play football in front of a damaged building in a rebel-held neighborhood of Dira in southern Syria credit. AFP it averts a possible direct confrontation between Iran and Israel in Syria, where tensions have heightened between the foes in recent months. At the same time, it reveals growing daylight between Moscow and Tehran, which back the same side in the conflict. According to Israeli sources, Russia has grown increasingly frustrated with Iran's presence in Syria and is worried that fighting between Israel and Iran threatens its hard-fought victories. Iran is estimated to have thousands of advisors and fighters in Syria as well as a number of bases, which have become regular targets for Israel attacks. Flames rise from a missile, which according to the Lebanon National News Agency appears to be part of a Syrian air defense missile targeting an Israeli warplane which landed in a lemon grove, in Hasbani village, southwest Lebanon credit. AP Israel, which is also said to have received assurances from Moscow that it will not to try to stop any future strikes on Iranian targets, is concerned about Iran and allied Hezbollah's growing arsenal on its doorstep. Both Russia and Iran have played pivotal roles in helping reverse Assad's fortunes, and Faisal Meekdad, Syria's deputy foreign minister, has reassured Tehran that a pullout is not up for discussion. Dira is the obvious next target for Assad, who has repeatedly promised to retake every inch of the country. The only other major opposition stronghold, in Idlib in the northwest, is fraught with complications because of the presence of Turkish troops in the area. Syrian soldiers wave inside a destroyed building nearly a week after retaking the town of Harista from the rebels. In eastern Ghouta credit, AFP fighting in southwestern Syria has been contained since last year by a de-escalation agreement brokered by Russia, the US and Jordan. However, the recent victory for the government in eastern Ghouta on the outskirts of Damascus has relieved pressure on the depleted army and freed up troops. A pro-government military source confirmed on Tuesday that preparations had been completed for an offensive on Dira. The Syrian army will wage all the battles and has now become strong and capable, the commander said. This week the army dropped leaflets over the city, urging fighters to disarm. The men of Syrian army are coming. Take your decision before it is too late, they read. Dira, known as the cradle of the revolution because of its uprising against Assad in early 2011, is under the control of a patchwork of rebels including the Free Syrian Army's Southern Front. Like most deals agreed for Syria, where competing international backers have vested interests, no Syrian group was party to the discussion. Elia Saman, an advisor in the government's reconciliation ministry, told The Telegraph there was no set deadline for the offensive. But of course the Syrian government always prefers an agreement over a military operation, he said. Currently all efforts are being put forth to reach an agreement in the southern area in order to avert a military operation. The agreement will be a massive blow for the rebels in southern Syria, who have received considerable money and arms from the US, as well as Israel. The US expressed alarm over the weekend that Syrian regime forces were massing for an assault there, but that was before reports surfaced about the deal. The US under the Donald Trump administration has backed off its support for the rebels and has given little indication it is prepared to intervene on their behalf. Officials from Washington are due to have talks with Jordan and Russia about the fate of the South. Jordan fears an offensive there could send thousands of refugees to its border. Additional reporting by Joseph Habash in Beirut.